Have you ever been sitting at your laptop thinking, uh, the screen's too far away, I can't see a gosh darn thing. And... What if I told you Acer has a solution? That's pretty neat, I guess. But it doesn't really answer the question of who out there was asking for this. So we'll be spending the next few minutes figuring out what makes this laptop truly special. Speaking of special, my segues to sponsors like ourselves. At the LTT store, we've got hoodies, water bottles, shirts, and even cable ties. In fact, our new LTT Stealth hoodie just came out, and I think it looks freaking awesome. Check out the link below to get your new favorite shirt today. Let's start by figuring out just who the heck the Triton 900 was made for. My first thought, honestly, game designers. It's a super powerful machine with a party trick that's right up their alley. The surprisingly robust feeling hinged screen gives you three positions to work with. All the way back, all the way forward, and even, check that out, a drawing position with the last one being especially important since there are two things that game designers need. Somewhere to design, you know, like ideally with a pen on a nice large display, and then somewhere to be able to play their game, making a roided out surface book look like the perfect solution. Except for one small hiccup. Even though this is a touchscreen, when we tried using various pens from Dell, HP, Microsoft, Wacom, and Samsung, None of them worked. But just because the display doesn't feature pen support doesn't mean that it's bad. We just need to dig a little deeper here. And in fairness, it's not just not bad. This is one of the most crisp gaming displays that we've ever feasted our eyes on. We're talking 4K resolution, 400 nit peak brightness, that's pretty darn good for a mobile device, 100% Adobe RGB color space coverage, and support for HDR video playback. Coupled with the improved ergonomics, a screen like this could make the Triton 900 a killer content consumption laptop. But we've got another problem. I mean, if you want to buy a 3800 US dollar machine to watch YouTube videos, be my guest. But it's probably not the wisest move ever. Plus, the speakers kinda suck. Which of course brings us to the most obvious conclusion. I mean, it's part of their Predator lineup. Is the Triton 900 for gamers then? Packing an NVIDIA RTX 2080, this thing chews through games. I mean, you can expect to be able to run basically anything at 4K, 60 FPS, even on high details, making it fantastic for simulation games like City Skylines or Anno 1800, as well as third person or sightseeing games like The Witcher 3 or the Tomb Raider series, where you can like really crank up the details because even if you do dip a little bit below 60 FPS because you turned RTX on or whatever, G-Sync is gonna step in and make sure that your game still looks its best. We even don't mind it for streaming because while the webcam isn't anything special, at least it has one. Unfortunately, anything without a high refresh rate display feels like a compromise to us in 2019, especially for anything first person and especially for anything competitive. And the thing is, there are lots of other laptops on the market that can deliver way more frames on their panels and that still look really good for a lot less. The Zephyrus GX701 is one that stands out. It's nearly as powerful as this machine, while, and I had never thought I'd be saying these two things about this Zephyrus, being a lot easier to use as a laptop and a lot cheaper. All right then. So let's say maybe you only occasionally game, but you also need lots of power and a really sharp display for other things, uh, like, uh, I don't know, number crunching or, ooh, 3D modeling. Well, here, the Triton 900 really shines. It sports up to an eight core Core i9-9980HK that in our case, regularly turboed up to 4.8 gigahertz in lighter loads and maintained 3.6 gigahertz, so well above Intel's advertised base clock in heavier multi-threaded ones. 
This actually puts it on the podium with the fastest laptops we've ever tested, where it gets beaten only by the Alienware Area 51M, which in fairness to Acer, has a freaking desktop CPU in it. And this incredible CPU power is augmented by excellent I.O., including three USB Type-A ports, a Type-C, Thunderbolt 3, Gigabit Ethernet, and two full-size display connectors. One quick aside, one of the USB ports is inside this little flippy Audi thing that kind of weirded us out at first, and then we were like, oh wow, you can hide your wireless mouse dongle in there without worrying about it getting broken or lost. Sick. Of course, features like hidden compartments are normally found on pretty bulky machines, and uh, this is no exception. Even ignoring its monstrous nine pound weight, the Triton 900 is hardly a laptop in the traditional sense. I mean, we understand that thermally, it makes a lot of sense to lay it out like this. You got nice, easy access to fresh air for your fans, but using this thing in your lap is uncomfortable at best. And as for working away from the wall, I mean, Maybe the silver lining here is that you won't have time to get uncomfortable. Actually, I lied about that last bit. The typing experience is pretty good overall, but only if you remember your wrist rest. Otherwise, it's a pretty bad time. The good news is that while Acer's low profile mechanical keyboard did take me a little while to get used to, once I did, I began to really like it. Aside from some oddities, the spacebar needs better stabilization. This is unacceptable. And as for the right shift, who puts that here? It takes so much mental effort on this machine to type a question mark, and every single time I tried to use the right shift, at best, I ended up with the cursor up a line, and at worst, I'm an entire page above where I intended to be. While I'm talking about things on the lower right side of the laptop, let's address the touchpad. Now, a lot of people hate this layout, but after using it more, it's actually not that bad. This one tracks well, and I'm always surprised to see how quickly I get used to trackpads in this location. I only find it truly annoying when I'm trying to go all the way from one side of the screen to the other. While we're down here, by the way, let's pry up the keyboard, which gives us access to the only upgradable components on the Triton 900, the two M.2 SSD slots and the two SODIMM memory slots. So not much expansion here. So then let's take stock. We've got a desktop replacement that's not too upgradable, but is damn powerful out of the box, with a pretty good, albeit kind of annoying keyboard, and an outstanding display. Have we perhaps found the perfect machine for our video editors? It actually looks great on paper, but does this panel have the color accuracy that they would require? Well, after testing, it turns out that while it manages over 99% of the Adobe RGB color space, which is great, when we look at the accuracy of the colors within that space, it's not particularly amazing. With an average Delta E of 4.2 and a max of 7.3, this display, yeah, it's gonna look great to the eye while you're gaming, we really felt that, but it simply isn't good enough for color critical work like video or photo editing. For those, you're generally looking for Delta E's of less than two. So this is where Acer's Concept D9 starts to look really appealing. It's basically the same laptop, but it includes a Wacom digitizer for professional level stylus support, and it's color calibrated out of the box so that you can trust that what you see is what others are going to see. Only problem is the Concept D is projected to be about $1,000 more than the Triton 900. So if you don't need stylus support and you want an incredible machine for video editing or content creation on the go, we really like the Triton 900. Just make sure you grab a display calibrator as well. Speaking of grabbing things, why not check out FreshBooks is the small business accounting software that's custom built for how you wanna work. It's a simple way if you're a freelancer or a small business owner to be more productive, more organized, and to get paid faster. With FreshBooks, you can create and send professional looking invoices in less than 30 seconds. You can set up online payments with just a couple of clicks to get paid up to four days faster. And you can see when your client has seen your invoice to put an end to the guessing games. They've got fully featured apps for both Android and iOS, so go check it out today. They've got an unrestricted 30-day free trial at freshbooks.com slash tech tips. Just enter Linus Tech Tips in the how did you hear about us section. 
So thanks for watching, guys. If you disliked this video, you know where that button is. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, or maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Also down there is our merch store, like I said, which has cool shirts like, ooh, that's awkward. Like the sweater I'm wearing and our community forum, which you should totally join.